Hi and welcome to Beaver Stadium, home of the Penn State Nittany Lions, one of the largest crowds in college football assembled here. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes, taking on the seventh ranked team in the land, the Penn State Nittany Lions. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Buckeyes will kick this away to start us off. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And bulldozing his way through. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So Penn State's offense comes on the field to open this game. Here we go, Kirk. All the emotion in this stadium. Which side is going to handle that better today? Chris, we had a chance to visit both these teams. And one of the things that we saw, the clocks ticking down all year for this game, this day. Now they get their chance. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, that's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17. Looking to pass, it's Aller. Let's it go quickly. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And that picks up a first down. They'll spot it at the 39. It's nice execution to pick up the first down. A little curl rod Kirk against the zone. Yeah, when you play zone coverage like this, it's very difficult to defend this route if the quarterback does a nice job of reading the coverage. I thought he used his eyes there to be able to move the defense where he wanted them, created an opening in that defense, and then he made a great throw for that first down. And the back gets the football. The ball is loose. The ball carrier recovers it, and the offense will keep possession. Wow, that's just big-time awareness by his teammate to be able to scoop up that ball like it was a ground ball. As a result, the offense retains possession. Second down play coming up for this offense. And he'll set up to throw. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty brings up third down. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Pressure is coming. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. The Nittany Lions will send the punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. Fair catch made at the 15-yard line. The Buckeyes offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. And here comes that star wide receiver. He's got the bounce, the aura. He walks on the field with some swag saying, I'm the man. And I know it. Well, oh, he certainly does. And you know what? He probably should. It's founded in all the hard work that he puts in, the dedication in the summertime during practice. You can see some of the defensive backs watch him as he warms up, studying him, because they know it's going to be a long day trying to deal with this receiver. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. And the quarterback keeps it here. Football comes out. And the defense jumps on the football. You know, I like this quarterback's ability in the option game. He just doesn't do a good job of protecting the football here. You've got to be dialed in with your fundamentals, or it can cost you at any moment. Defense! 
And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? And that run produces a decent game. The Nittany Lions are going to cash in here in the red zone. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Now it's third and short from the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. The distance will be from 36 yards away. And he knocks it right through the uprights. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. team is out there now he's going to return it from near the goal line makes it to the 16 that's good coverage there okay here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field a fumble the last possession only led to a field goal can they shake off that mistake and get it going here got the first down now looking for more solid game there moves the ball out to the 32 you know, Chris, what a great run here. And you think about Ohio State, you think lately about those NFL-ready wide receivers. But we all know it starts with their running games, all those great backs they've had over the years. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Back to pass. It's Howard. Makes a quick catch. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Well, Kirk, no surprise to get these two teams on the field, and it's tight and competitive right to the finish. Well, just the last time these two teams met, remember it came down to the wire, the very final few minutes. Sure hope we get another one like that today. Getting set. Here's second down. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Pulls it in. It's a Buka. It'll be enough for a first down brought down at the 43. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. The Buckeyes pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And test the middle and gets stuck. That is just not open for business today. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback drops back. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Not easy to bring down. The quarterback finally gets the job done. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. It's Howard. He makes the grab. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, if I'm this defense, you get these guys to third down, you better bracket or double-team some kind of coverage rolled to this receiver 
to take him away. This guy makes another big play. Buckeyes line up on first and ten now. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. Offense sets up for play number eight on this drive. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. It's pretty simple as a defensive coordinator. When the quarterback drops back to throw, if we get pressure on him, we got a chance to slow him down and win the football game. If we don't, it could be a long afternoon. Good job here by dialing up the pressure. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. And he'll drop back here on third down. Quarterback escapes the pocket. This is why I love the quarterbacks that can make things happen. Here you have an opportunity to try to create. Nothing's there. Play breaks down. Instead of just throwing it away, he sits back, sees nothing downfield, decides to be able to pick up the first down by himself. Impressive run to pick up the first and keep this drive moving. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. The Buckeyes are looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. He hands it to the back. Couldn't quite get in. Tackled down at the two-yard line. Excellent run. You know, everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers. And don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. But, man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching a game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. And Kirk, it's Penn State on top as we break for the quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. The Buckeyes looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Can you say methodical? A marathon march, Kirk, just pounding away and wearing down that defense. They just kept moving the sticks and moving the sticks until they got into the red zone, and they just kept moving to the sticks until they got into the end zone. What a drive. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Kick goes through, so it's 7-3. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he takes this from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. They settled for a field goal last time out. Let's see what they can do this time. Back in motion now. Looking to throw. It's Allen. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. What well, a big play here by the quarterback and the receiver by having an opportunity to make that big play. Now they have a chance to put the ball in the end zone. And the Nittany Lions will crank up the tempo. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. It's a two-yard gain. Second and eight coming up.
Here's the snap, looking to throw. And he's got his man open downfield. And he's brought down at the one-yard line. What a play on the completion. Man, the defense seems to be all about loading up to stop the run. They're creating some one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and the quarterback and receiver make them pay for it in a great play. After the big gainer, suddenly a great chance to score. First and goal from the three. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Penn State. Boy, this defense just hitting manhandled at the line of scrimmage. They just loaded up in that goal line formation and pushed their way into the end zone. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good, so the score is 10-7 now. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. He'll return it from inside the five. Will be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. In the last possession, the defense just had no answer for this powerful ground game. Let's see what they can do this time. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back, it's Howard. Caught quickly. Tackled right at the 30, good enough to move the sticks. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. It's a first and 10 play coming up for the offense. And they hand it off to the back. Defense falls on the ball. Crucial takeaway. I get being upset at the ball care for coughing up the ball, but let's not ignore how big of a hit that was. Sometimes you just have to give credit to the defender for making a great play. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. What great job up front here getting this first down by this Penn State offense. And great combination over the years that we've seen in State College. The ability to run the football with an offensive line that can get that push and a big physical back that can be a pick up those yards to get those first downs. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Defense stops him, but that's a solid gain. Third and short from the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. To throw, it's Aller. Running back has it on a screen now. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. 
Most defensive coordinators focus a lot of their energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. They give up a couple more third down conversions like that, and they're in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. The Nittany Lions are moving quickly down the field. Trying to run it, it's Allen. Aiming for the end zone. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point gives them a double-digit lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Makes it with the 16. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. Last possession, they fumbled it away, and it set up a touchdown drop. Can they bounce back from that right away? Gets the first and still running. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. Boy, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. Buckeyes looking to run some tempo here. Quarterback keeps the football. And the runner brought down right at the 38-yard line. Oh, the read option here, and the quarterback keeps it. I thought he was going to get out and maybe take this downfield for big yards at defense. Very fortunate to keep him to a shorter gain. Second down after that run on the previous play. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. The Buckeyes pick up enough for a first down here. You know, to me, Chris, with this offense, it's almost an extension of their running game. You put the receiver out in motion, you flip the ball out to him, out to the outside, let him do what he does best, which is use his instincts, and he picks up the first down. The Buckeyes starting a new series here on first and ten. The back's got it. And he's got it already past the first down marker. They get him down, but he crosses midfield, spot the ball at the 44. Every now and then, we see a really good run. We tend to focus on what other people did in order for that run to happen, what the offensive line did. Maybe the receivers are blocking good on the edge. Sometimes, the running back is pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of yards and made that happen with good effort. Dropping back, it's Howard. Easy throw to a wide-open receiver downfield. Tackle made, but the game moves the ball to the 30. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air and puts a lot of pressure on this defense. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? No, he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before it got to him. That'll bring up second down. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Makes the catch downfield. And he's down after the catch at the 12. A red zone opportunity. Well, it's a big risk to play man-to-man -man coverage by this defense, and this time they get caught. Great timing between the quarterback and his receiver. You can see what can happen when that timing is right. Big things can happen. Back to throw again. Caught near the goal line. Stopped short of the touchdown, but the offense is set up now first and goal. 
It's really good timing here between the quarterback and the receiver. And how about the receiver downfield? Does a nice job of finding that open space in the zone of the defense. And as a defense, you're just basically throwing your hands up in the air because they had that covered relatively well. Just a good play call. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. And now here comes the point after attempt. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. This one is not returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Looking for the wide out. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. Good catch just past the first down line to allow the drive to continue. It's a nice play by the quarterback and wide receiver there. will set up on first and ten. Looking downfield, it's Allen. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. And a big gain across the field moves the ball inside the enemy 40-yard line. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Another chunk play. This offense is really clicking. And looking to throw now on first down. Makes the grab. It's Singleton. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Now it's second down here. And he drops back in the gun. It's caught downfield. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Man, Chris, everything seems to be clicking for this offense. And if they can keep this up through all four quarters, it could get really ugly by the fourth. And Nittany Lions come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. First down, looking to throw the ball. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. Chris, I think you got to give all the credit to the wide receiver here. Man-to-man -man coverage on an out route. That is a tough ask. Good inside move on the stem to separate from the defender and a great throw by the quarterback near the sideline. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. This is a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. But let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. See if they can convert the point after. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Gets it to the 25-yard line, and that's where they'll start the drive. Final seconds in the first half, they will just take a knee and head to the locker room. 
Looks like the offense can tend to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Nittany Lions will kick it away to get us going in the second half. He's going to try for a return from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. Has the first down and more. And he'll pick up the first down, stopped at the 27. The offense looks fired up to begin the second half. That's the kind of play they've needed to give them a spark. Absolutely. I know they're down in this game. Clearly something was said at halftime to try to get this offensive line engaged, and it looks like it's working. They're playing with a different kind of energy. Let's see if they can do it again. It's a quarterback keeper. Jukes to get free. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. Well, there's just so many things happening on these read option plays, and they happen fast. This defense has done a good job of trying to prevent this quarterback from hitting the big play. He gets some yards here, but at least he didn't get out for a big gainer. Buckeyes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. To the air, it's Howard. The ball is picked off. Going the other way, can they stop him? At the 10. Now look at the return after the interception. Sets the offense up in good shape. Man, just a tough way to start this second half for this offense. You know, when you get together at halftime, you make all the adjustments based on what you learned from the first half. And to come out and throw an interception in the second half, they got to adjust again. Handed an awesome opportunity, first and goal at the two. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield. He may go for a third or a fourth later today. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. The golf team has come on the field now to send this one away. Turn starts from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Oh, and he fumbles! The defense recovers the fumble. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover.
offense back out there trying to get something going. Quick throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. And he takes it into the end zone, but a marker is down. So hold on here. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. First down here for this offense. To throw, it's Aller. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. The first down play, not a good one. Looking at second and long here. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Caught near the sideline. It's Wallace. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? Quarterback in the shotgun here on third down. Grab near the sticks. It's Wallace. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. You got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Makes a quick grab. Brought down at the two after the catch. The offense close to punching it in. It's a second and goal play for the offense. They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Well, the defense is locked in on this running back, and for good reason. He's already scored a couple touchdowns. If I'm the offensive coordinator, give it to him one more time. Let him make it a hat trick. Game moves the ball to the one. Third down and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. Touchdown, Penn State. To stretch the lead, the route is on. Chris, you think this guy, when he went to bed last night at the team hotel, thought he would score not one, not two, but three rushing touchdowns in one game? What a day. Now the try here for the extra point. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Turner trying to create good field position. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. The last possession ended in a fumble, and that set up a touchdown. So they got to bounce back from that right away. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. That's exactly how you want to defend the option. You know, the old school way is assignment football. You have to account for the quarterback, the pitch man. Here, the quarterback had really nothing other than just kind of lower his head and get as much as he could. Fortunately for the defense, it wasn't very much. Option look. It's Howard. It's quarterback keeper there, taken down for a loss. Boy, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end's going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get that ball out quicker to not allow that defensive end to make that play. Urgency now for the offense that hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Looking to throw it on third and very long. Gets the ball up as he's hit, but it's incomplete. The quarterback did all he could here to wait until the last possible moment, but he waits just a hair too long, which allows the defense to actually hit him as he throws the ball. The Buckeyes will line up to boot it away. 
He's on looking for a solid punt here. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. This group has been rolling up double digits at halftime. They've just built on that lead here in the second half. A quick juke. And the broken tackle there produces a solid gain. Here's the second down play. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield, it's Singleton. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. Boy, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. Offense goes to the pistol formation now. Can he get there on the ground? Fights through the tackle. Stop at the 43. This offense picks up another first down. How impressive these guys been up front today. Big third down. Know what you need to do. Get the first down. Continue to hold on to that lead. Continue to work clock. And get that much closer to securing a victory. The Nittany Lions getting set on first and ten. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, there you go, defense. Listen, it's not been a great day for these guys, but this time they stepped up and took out some of that frustration. Nice play. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Quick throw caught on the left side. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. The Nittany Lions will bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. That punch sails out of bounds. There'll be no return this time. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Quarterback will throw it off the one-pass option. And he's tackled after the catch. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Quarterback still with the football. They stop him, but it's a first down. And Kirk, it's Penn State on top as we break for the quarter. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Looking to throw it on first down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. The offense really clicking here. And the back now goes in motion. Back to throw. It's Howard. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Buckeyes.
That's the kind of execution that's built on the practice field for a very precise pitch and catch for a touchdown. You know, when we were out at practice, one thing that really stood out to me about this receiver was his ability to separate with his route running ability. You can see that right there on game day and how that shows up for a touchdown. Coach makes the decision to go for a two-point conversion. They'll try to run this one in. And he stopped short. Big play by the defense. Still a three-score margin here. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And here's the return from inside the five to be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Takes the handoff. It's Singleton. <laughs> offense getting set. It's second down. Hand off to the back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Oh, what a move. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. And the Nittany Lions will have to kick this away. Choosing to return the punt. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. He's brought down, but not before getting into enemy territory at the plus 47. The Buckeyes come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Running back with the football and brought down at the line with that big defensive tackle. Second down after that previous play. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. An important third down attempt for this offense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Oh, and he can't quite come up with the interception. Would have been his second of the game. Instead, it brings up fourth down. Boy, third down and short. They decide to throw the football, roll the dice a bit. Doesn't work out. Now you're at fourth and short. you got to wonder, with this offensive line and this running back, do you run the football to convert, or do they try to go through the air again? Here we go on fourth down. He did not get it. A crucial play by this defense. What a fourth down stop. 
how about the offense being aggressive they decide to go for it here and I got to give all the credit to this defense being aware anticipating the call knowing exactly where they needed to make the stop and they did it second down play coming up They're going to run it. Makes a nice move there. They get him down, but that's a solid game. Third down play for this offense. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. Run down at the 46, good enough for a first down. Nice first down run here by this running back. And these are the kind of situations on third and short that you can gain a lot of momentum or it can kill a drive and kill the confidence of an offense. Here they pick up the nice first down, which is great. New set of downs. But it also gives you a lot of confidence that you can wear that defense down psychologically. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. They'll run it from the gun. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. And the wideout goes in motion. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Stock right there at the line. No game. And that's the two-minute warning. And this offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. The Nittany Lions will bring their punt team onto the field. And they'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Kicked it too far. It lands in the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. This thing is so out of hand. All you can do now is play for a little shred of pride. There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. Look out. He's got some space. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Wow, what a play. A defensive score. What a job by this defense to get this pick six. And on the other side, what are you thinking? Throwing the football with a nice lead with under two minutes to go. Now we've got a one-possession game if they make this extra point. now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now they get set to kick it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. They need a couple miracles here in the final two minutes to rescue what's been a very, very rough outing so far. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself 
a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball, and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. First down, looking to throw the football. Grab down the middle. It's Henderson. Refusing to be brought down before gaining first down yardage. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management's going to be very important here in the final minutes. Buckeyes will have first and ten here. Looking to pass. It's Howard. Grab made by the tight end. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. Hey, there's the execution that's been lacking most of this game, but they'll take it. You know, you try to do everything that you can to learn and try to build for the future. And at this point in the game, it's obviously over, but you love to see the offense coordinator still giving this quarterback opportunities. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Here's the snap, looking to throw here. Caught over the middle, it's Henderson. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Of course, now that we're in the final couple minutes of this game, it's a good time to just kind of step back and appreciate the job this defense has done throughout the entire game. They've applied pressure, they've been physical at the line of scrimmage, good job in space, and a big part of the reason that they have such a big lead today. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. Anytime you have a chance to get this wide receiver isolated, to get the ball in his hands, you do it. The Buckeyes looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. From the shotgun, drops back. And he'll wisely throw that one away. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. All right, it's second down and goal now for this offense. To the air. It's Howard bringing pressure. And the junior gets home making a sack there. 